Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX, along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to make these transitions in a very easy way. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so I have four videos in my project. So I drag them to my timeline just so that I have a sequence in place. So I have this this guy dancing and on my videos. And notice that all the videos that you have here are handheld so that this transition will look pretty cool. So in order to do that, uh, I'll go to the, my projects here and I'll create a new item called adjustment layer. I'll hit OK. So I'll double click on my adjustment layer and adjust this length in such a way that it is one second in duration. So I have this, you know, like one second and I'll simply drag this adjustment layer onto my video, onto my uh, videos just like this. Let me zoom in a bit just so that you have a clear idea on what's happening. So what I'll be doing now is I'll simply drag this adjustment layer in such a way that it is in the center of these two videos. Yeah, I'm doing it uh, pretty randomly just to give you an idea of this effect. So the first thing that you'll have to do is go to the FX panel and type in directional blur. So in this transition we'll be using only one effect called directional blur and you can experiment with this effect. So I'll drag this onto my adjustment layer like this. So I'll go to the effect controls and simply click on this timer button for blur length and I'll set this value to 50. Alright, and I'll also change the direction, you know, to 90 or um, I feel 45 would do our job. Yeah, so I'll go to the first frame of this um, adjustment layer and I'll change the blur length to 0. I'll go to the last frame of this adjustment layer and set the blur length value back to zero. So now if I start playing this, this is how it's going to transition smooth. So another way you can tweak these values is I'll hold Alt on my keyboard and duplicate this adjustment layer and drag this, you know, to the center of the other cut here. So at this center, what I'll do is I'll change the direction of this video as well so at the center of this video i click on this timer button for direction i'll go to the first frame i'll set the direction to zero and uh, in the middle i'll change this to 90 just so that it will have a horizontal um you know horizontal um, um direction and i'll at the last frame i'll change this to 180 okay so if i start playing this this is how it's gonna transition into even this looks good so um, uh, all the impact of this transition also depends on having a cool audio um, that you can download from the youtube audio library or some production grade websites and one more thing that you can do is hold alt on my keyboard let me duplicate this drag this to the center and I'll also change the blur length I'll delete this you know premium pro is all about creativity so I'll go to the last frame and uh, sorry let me go to this adjustment layer I'll change the blur length of the last frame to um, one blur length to I'll increase it to 200 and remove this thing in center and if i start playing this this is how the transition is gonna happen so um, another thing that you can do is simply change the curves of red for this adjustment layer just so that you have some red tint to one of the video and increase the this value so that you have some contrast so premiere pro is all about creativity and you can use this effect to generate some cool transitions to your music videos 
I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFX Guy Ravi. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright, so see you guys next time with another tutorial.